at ease. It's your boy Solar Mortal. Man, since the beginning of time, one of the most enjoyable acts of, uh, to mankind has been the act of sex. Professions have been formed behind it. Industries have been built because of it. And, and in my opinion, the, the average man will give his last dime just to partake in it. Now, if you ask me, I would say that the far majority of men that are in prison is because of sex. Because look at it, when you see guys that are selling drugs, guys that are robbing banks, guys that are killing other men, it's nine times out of ten um, due to trying to impress a woman or, or mad at a man that took your woman. So sex is, is a driving force. But there's one thing that men of understanding know about sex. And that's that not only is it pleasurable, but it's extremely powerful. Let's talk about it. See, men, many of us have been programmed to be reckless with one of the most powerful forces that we possess, right? And, and you really can't blame us. Look, look, at, look at social media. Look at Instagram, Facebook, and, and all the rest of them, right? All we see are women prancing around, twerking and naked and, and all this stuff. You know, so, so just, just us being natural men... You know, we're attracted to this stuff, right? But there's no one there telling us the power behind our, our sexual energy. There's no one there telling us about the risk, you know. There's no one there telling us about uh, uh, the abilities we have by restricting ourselves by trying to chase down every woman. You know what I'm saying? So you can go to the gym and you can get stronger and you can do you can do great things with that. You can go to college, you can get smarter, you know, and you can invent great things. But there's nothing that can compare to your natural ability to create. You know what I'm saying? See, I don't think we've sit and thought about this, man. There, there's a chemical inside of us. There's a, a substance inside of us. There's an energy inside of us that has the ability to create a whole nother person. And that's huge. So, so what would happen if someone took that whole energy to create another human and redirected that energy into something else? Is that even possible? Sex transmutation is something that every single man should know about. In the book, Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill says, sex transmutation is the most powerful tool in existence when it comes to creation, invention, accomplishment, creativity, advancement, and achievement. That's powerful, man. Think about Nikola Tesla. Think about Sir Isaac Newton. Think about George Washington Carver. What do these men have in common? These men were men that chose greatness over sexual pleasure. Let's take Nikola Tesla for example. Now we all know Nikola Tesla for his inventions of the radio, he invented the transmitter. He's most commonly known for his invention of uh, battery storage or, or what we call the Tesla call. And, and that's where uh, we get the, the Tesla vehicle from today. But what many men don't know about uh, Nikola Tesla is that he was MGTOW before MGTOW was a thing. See, he made a conscious decision at some point in time to, to choose greatness over pleasure. 
There, there's a, a great article, man, that was written in 1924 uh, by the Galveston Daily News uh, interviewing Mr. Tesla, and it's called Mr. Tesla Explains Why He Will Never Marry. In this article, he said, Marriage has come to be considered the natural thing for every normal man. And when some preeminent man shows a firm determination to sidestep it, everybody wonders if wonders whether his superior intelligence has revealed to him some fatal defect in the institution of matrimony, which are not apparent to the average person. And guys, th that's exactly what's going on today. There are some blue pill men that that are that are just quick to go and 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 follow the path uh, uh, that that many men before them have followed, but there are many men that that understand um, how the system works, that understands marriage, that understands relationships in in today's time. And, and I'm gonna leave a link to that interview because what what he says later on is is something that stood out. And and I'll paraphrase. But what he's what he talked about as far as his reason for not for not having interest in, in the women of his time anymore was this. He said, and you could tell that the brother used to be blue pill. He said that at one point in time, I put women on a pedestal. He said, you know, they were gentle, they were soft, they were nurturing, they were caring. And he said that that woman doesn't exist anymore. He said the women of today are trying to be men. He said they want to they want to be do sports like men. They want to compete like men. They want to run business business like men. He said if that's the case, then, then why would I go after these women when they're just like me? And remember that, guys, because we're gonna come that come back to that. Another great mind, Sir Isaac Newton, another man that chose greatness over sexual pleasure. The reflective telescope. The breakdown of the force of gravity are just a couple of things that Sir Isaac Newton is known for. But his most famous thing that, that he's known for, in my opinion, was his, his quote that he made on the law of conservation of energy, where he states, This law means that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. Rather, it can only be transformed or transferred to one form or another. Remember this, man, because we'll come back to it. And the last great that I'm going to talk about is Mr. George Washington Carver. Known as the father of biochemical engineering, nicknamed the Black Leonardo by Time Magazine, and a man that helped transform the ag industry, Mr. George Washington Carver was a great one. Now, during the time of, of George Washington Carver, there were many people that questioned his sexuality. For one, it was said that he had a very high-pitched voice. You know what I'm saying? And he never entered a relationship. No one ever known for him to, uh, know, knew for him to get, uh, knew of him getting into a relationship until later in life. And when he did get into a relationship, I believe the lady's name was Susan or Sarah, I can't remember. It was odd because it was said that it was a sex, it was a, a sexless relationship. Now, after Mr. Carter, uh, Washington Carver died, it was uh, understood that when he was a very young boy, I think 11 years old, it said he was castrated, which means he was he was unable to have sex, and, and that explained the whole high pitched voice thing and everything. Now, the reason I brought him up is for one reason. It's to show the power of sex transmutation. I mean, you have a man that was a slave. You know what I'm saying? And, and over the course of his life, he rose to be one of the greatest men of this nation. One of the great inventors. The man that did a million and one, and one things with the peanut. A man that got so many awards and accolades. And started off as a slave. Because you see, he, he, he was forced to use sex mutation. All that energy he had built up that would have went toward chasing women his whole life. He had no choice but to redirect that to other, to other areas. And I just, I just want to bring him up to show you how, how powerful that is. So, so what is sexual mutation? And I think I've covered it. 
all sex mutation, sex transmutation is, is taking that energy that you use, that you that that's in every man that you're chasing women with, that you're scrolling down uh, plenty of fish and, and, and whatever the other ones are, and scrolling through timelines and looking at Instagram, that energy that's driving you to do that, these men chose to take that same energy and redirect it to something that was more beneficial, something that would, that would help them, something that would, 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 would benefit mankind. So why am I telling you this? This is why. Because many of you have heard me say that pump and dump is not the answer. In other words, I've always said that abstinence is better than just going and sleeping with every woman every weekend, left and right, all the time. I've always said that. But the thing is, I've never said why. See, sex or, or the spending of sexual energy, in other words, can be tied directly to a man's success. In the book Outwitting the Devil, which I always refer to, uh, when, 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 when Napoleon Hill was at a heightened level, man, and he was speaking to a, a higher level of consciousness, this, this is what was said. It said, if humans would control their sex desires and transmute them into a driving force with which to carry on their occupation. That is, if they spent their work one half the time they dissipate in the pursuit of sex, they would never know poverty. What does that mean, guys? In other words, the reason that you're stuck at that job the reason, the reason that you have this idea that you just, you can't get the ball rolling and get it on the ground. The reason you haven't started a YouTube channel. The reason you haven't gotten a studio to make that music. The reason you haven't got, gotten that book started is because you're giving your energy away, guys. See, see, all the, all the things to create what we want in this world is based on our creative energy. And what we're doing, we're giving it away. Our essence, our, our creative ability, our, our life form, we're giving it away to strangers. Sexual cannibalism. I mean, we've already talked about this. I made a full video on it. Um, I'll try to leave a link at the end or a card or something for those that haven't seen it. But there's a video that you must you must see. It talks about the nature of, of women. You know, I refer to the, the lactodectus or the black widow. And, and it just clearly talks about how women want men for their energy. Right? Sexual cannibalism. Now, here's the misconception. Society has once again brainwashed the masses that it's us men that are out just trying to get all these women for our sexual pleasure and just kick them to the curb and move on. And that, that, that's true in some cases. But, but that's a Jedi mind trick, guys. That's, that, that, that's not really true. Because in all actuality, it's the women that, that are craving that from men. And I'll break it down. See, you have a group of women that want men for their money and their cars and their homes and all this stuff. And we call them gold diggers, right? But, but gold diggers represent a very small percentage of women. Now, now you saying, no, man, because all women want, want your money and your cars. That's not really true. See, the other mass of women, which is the far majority, yes, they're wanting men for their money and their cars and their homes and their jobs and all this stuff. But, but it's not that they're wanting that stuff like the gold digger. They're not wanting this stuff so they can partake in it. They're, they're wanting this stuff because they want the driving force behind it. Yes, it seems like she's coming after your goods. But the majority of women, they don't want your goods. I mean, I mean think about how many women do you know they like fast cars or like or like uh you know a lot of things that men like 
They, they don't like this stuff. They don't want this stuff. They want that energy behind it. And, and the reason is, is because they're like vampires. I mean, they, 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 they need that. They need that life. They need that essence from a man. They, they need that creative power. So what, what we're dealing with, man, is not gold diggers, but soul diggers. So I'm sure you're asking yourself the question. If all my creative power is inside of me, and by me, you know, getting rid of this power to women, I'm losing my ability to have the things of this world, then what's the point of women? Right? Now I said we will come back to two different things, right? I said we will come back to the statement uh, that Nikola Tesla made about why he lost interest in women. And then I said we will come back to the statement of Sir Isaac Newton when he talks about energy cannot be destroyed, only transformed or transferred, right? Now let's let, let, let's just take the woman for example, right? Now let, let's let's put her in her original state. Without the mental con uh, mental contamination of the women today, just women in her natural state. See, we men are the seed bearers, right? And women are cultivators, just by nature. In other words, if you bring a woman some flour, some eggs, some sugar, some salt, She's, she's going to take that and she's going to do a thing with it, heat it up, and she's going to bring you back a German cake, German chocolate cake or something. You know what I'm saying? If you give a woman, if you bring home some, some, some watermelon seeds and some turnip green seeds and tomato seeds and you give it to a woman, a woman just by nature is just going to go out there and plant a garden and bring you back some good produce. If you give a woman your sperm, what is she going to do? She's going to take that sperm and, 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 and cultivate it and incubate it. And, and, and then nine or so months later, she's going to give you a whole baby. But what happens when you give your woman your sexual power? What happens when you give the woman your essence, your life? What happens then? See, in the book that I always refer to, Outwitting the Devil, there was a part in time where Napoleon Hill, you know, when he was at his high level of consciousness and, and he just paused for a second and he said, like, how did I get here? Like, how did I get to this state of awareness? And that force said, it's because of your wife. And I'm telling you, man, that whole book made sense to me until I got to that part. Because I was like, but your wife? Because see, this is where I had it wrong, man. I, I can go back to one of my first videos and, and where I was talking about is she an asset or is she a liability. And, and I was coming from a point of a man without understanding, right? Even in this video I made a few weeks ago where the young lady asked me about marriage, finances, and, and something else. At the end of that video, I made a comment. I said, before any man and women get into a relationship, this needs to happen. A man needs to have his money right, and a woman needs to have her mind right. And, and I remember a brother commenting on that, man. He said, hey, man, it was a good video. Like, you had me up to this point. And I got it. I understood what he was saying. Because, see, in our minds, as men, we've been saying that, hey, you know what? If men, if women want to be men, then they need to be men. You know, bring something to the table. You need to make just as much money as men. You need to do this. And I get that. That, that, that's, that's a knee-jerk reaction. But, but again, it, it, it comes from a place of, of, of a lack of understanding. See, a, a woman is here to be a man's helpmate. And, and to break it down in, in, in men's language, a, a woman is supposed to work like a turbocharger on an engine. You know what I mean? So you have that engine that's going, that's putting out power. That, that woman... It's supposed to take, take that excess and pump it back into you. In other words, she's there to make you better. That, that, that's the whole point of, a, whole point of a woman. See, the Bible and, and, and religion refers to this as, you know, when the Bible says, when two come together as one, they shall become one flesh, this, 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 whatever. I don't want to mess that quote up. But science says the exact same thing. 
and it's called constructive interference. Now, now what constructive interference is saying is that when you have two wave, we have one wave doing like this, and you have another wave that's doing a similar pattern, they come together to make one wave, but stronger. So, so what's the point of having a whim or having a woman in your life? The point of having, of, of having a woman is not only to procreate and, and have kids and all that, but it's to become a better version of yourself. So your woman is supposed to be like adding an amplifier to your life because all that love that you pour into her, she's supposed to be, uh, supposed to be pouring all that back into you, making you almost superhuman. That's the whole point of two people getting quote unquote married. And I don't mean going down to courthouse married, two people just coming together relationship. But the thing is, these women, these women that are that, that are built for men, that make men better, guys, they, they are they are damn near extinct or, 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 or long gone. I mean, I'm talking about I'm talking about one you're talking about one percent of the population that represents a woman like this. This is why divorce is so rampant. This is why nobody is getting in a relationship. Relationships are, are, are becoming extinct. Because like Nikola Tesla said, well, what's the point in a man getting in a relationship with another being that's just like a man? I mean, minus the sexual organs, minus the physical side of things, spiritually, you're, you're in a relationship with another man. That's why things are falling apart. Look, am I saying that all men should remain abstinent? No, I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is, all of us need to be cautious of what's going on. You know, when I say, when I say you don't need to pump and dump, you know, you, you need to understand why. You know what I mean? You need to understand why you don't need to give your sexual energy to just all these random, uh, worthless, purposeless women. And, and, and you see them all around. Some of, them, some of them are even married. I mean, you, you'll see a woman that's, that's down and out, man. She ain't worth a dang. You know, her life is just crappy, and she'll get with this good Joe Blow, man, and, she, and just over time, she'll just suck the life out of them. We see it every day, guys. Just go to the mall and go to some of these restaurants and just look at some of these men that have given their energy away. In a nutshell, guys, all I'm saying is that, yes, sex is one of the greatest pleasures on this planet, but it's important that not only we know, but it's important that we make sure these younger guys coming up, we need to make sure that they are fully aware of what's going on. That book, that business, that invention you're working on, that nonprofit organization, that dream home, that Lamborghini, all of this is inside of you, man. But you, you're going to have to make a conscious decision whether you want to spend the rest of your life enjoying reckless sex or being great. It's your boy Solo Mortal. And I'm out.